the captain prepared to perform CPR on the man. But everyone was stunned. Was this considered manslaughter? Two days earlier, the man had accidentally trapped his arm under a car. While changing a tire, his bone was sticking out. The firefighters quickly lifted the car to save his arm. However, the man was still preoccupied with an upcoming golf tournament to help his arm recover quickly. He even went for a cryotherapy session. When the firefighters arrived, the man had already been frozen for 666 minutes. They hurriedly pried open the door and discovered his chest was surprisingly fragile. They pulled him out and performed CPR, but then his chest shattered. Fortunately, after an autopsy, it was determined the man was already dead before CPR was administered. Otherwise, the captain would have been in trouble. A girl was lying on the sofa, drinking Coca-Cola. The next second, a meteor fell from the sky and hit her. When the firefighters arrived, they found her still alive. How am I even alive? I have a hole in me. They discovered it was the weighted blanket she had bought online that saved her. This weighted blanket contained the blast radius, which have cauterized most of the blood vessels. That's also why she didn't feel particularly hurt. But the sofa was fused to the girl. The firefighters had to use a saw to cut the sofa open. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did you say saws? Did he say saws? Did you say saws? 1,234 minutes later. The sofa was finally separated. The girl and the sofa were taken to the hospital together. It's said that besides her, only one other person in history has been hit by a meteor. Which makes you pretty special. Is the girl attempting a yoga stunt, hanging upside down on the balcony, and then... The rescue team storms in, she's frozen, contemplating life from the 7th floor ledge. They're ready to call in the CSI squad. When she miraculously wakes up, firefighters strap her spine for the grand descent. Her legs are now honorary noodles, so they slap on some splints for the road trip. Meanwhile, the woman more worried about her phone than her fractured limbs keeps babbling about it. Seeing her phone obsession, Captain Obvious sends someone upstairs. They discover the ongoing live stream. Turns out, our gal was attempting balcony yoga. For internet fame and fortune, she bent herself into a real-life pickle. Infant slowly descends into the water, on the verge of drowning. Fortunately, the woman suddenly woke up, lifted the baby from the water. Even though the doctor assured the baby was fine, the mother still felt a deep sense of guilt, took the child to the fire station. Not now, and maybe... I know that you're gonna take really good care of her. And she's better off without me. The firefighter husband, upon watching the video, teared up. Meanwhile, his wife arrived at the seaside. Since giving birth, the wife had been raising the child on her own. Overwhelming pressure left her breathless, longing to end the pain with death. A few days later, the woman woke up, in order to undergo treatment, moved back to the hospital in her hometown. After recovery, she returned home once again. By this time, her husband had learned the art of parenting, pledging never to let her bear the burden alone again. Have you ever experienced overwhelming stress? His father, the former champion, eagerly took the stage and hoisted the trophy with him, but... The firefighters arrived promptly. The scene is pure chaos. The father and son found themselves stuck on the stage, getting an earful from furious fans. Because the substance in his arm is synthetic oil, intended to bulk up his muscles. To everyone's surprise, the father is a fraud. All the honors he tirelessly earned throughout his life are completely trashed today. This will also mess with his son's future. After some emergency medical attention, the firefighters were ready to take him to the hospital. However, the irate fans cornered them. The black policewoman had to grab the microphone. I don't know if what this man did, but I do know this. That pursuant to section 148.2 of the California State Penal Code, it is a misdemeanor to willfully obstruct emergency personnel from discharging their official duties. Now let me advise you. Do not obstruct. Finally, the crowd dispersed. Before leaving, the guy decided to ditch the hard-earned trophy he just got. The blackie simply had a cookie, but got pulled over by the police. Especially when they saw the Audi he was driving, the cops tightened their grip on their holstered guns. All this, just because the man is black. Even with all the proper documentation, the cops insisted he step out of the car, claiming suspicion of forged ID card. 
The man tried to explain but was immediately pressed against the hood. His daughter, witnessing the scene, quickly opened her phone to record. Ignoring her father's warnings and getting out of the car, the father urged his daughter to get back in the car, but the officer tried to snatch her phone. At that moment, the little son in the back seat woke up. Seeing the police pointing a gun at his son, the father, unable to control himself. Don't shoot my son! Don't you shoot my son! The man then explained his wife is also a police officer, and not just any officer but a police inspector. He revealed his wife's badge number. Suddenly, the atmosphere changed, realizing they had tangled with a high-ranking official. The cops hastily returned the ID card, expressing misunderstanding, and hurriedly left the scene, leaving behind the father and his two children. Mother distances herself from her daughter. Later on, upon the arrival of firefighters, they find this pit plunging 40 meters deep. While the woman at the bottom still breathes, her entire body remains motionless. Despite this, her primary worry is her child's safety. Following an assessment, firefighters concluded the woman was bleeding severely, required immediate hospitalization. Nevertheless, the mother, hesitant to expose her child to the distressing scene, feared creating a lasting impact. So the captain handed the walkie-talkie to the child, enabling them to communicate with their mother. Upon hearing her daughter's voice, the mother finally broke into a smile. I'm always with you. So whenever you feel sad or alone, just reach for each other. And that's when you'll feel me with you and remember that I love you. Do you love your mom? Boss complained the employees were working too slowly. You slow pokes can't keep up with the bots. So because of that, I'm canceling all bathroom breaks until further notice. The employees were all angry, but didn't dare to say anything. The man couldn't hold it in any longer, but the boss was supervising closely. The man got so frustrated just looking at the robot that he peed on it unexpectedly. The robot retaliated. It first made a cautious turn and then crashed directly into a shelf. All the goods in the warehouse came tumbling down. When the firefighters arrived, the man was pinned down and unable to move. They lifted the shelves and pulled him out. The firefighter quickly tried to stop the bleeding, but the man had lost too much blood and fell into a coma. Do you think the boss should be held responsible for work just after getting into the car? Oh God! The list! You forgot the list! After saying that, she got out to retrieve the list, completely ignoring the man nearby. Even more absurdly, after grabbing the files, she happily drove to work. Coincidentally, today is Christmas. Everyone thought it was a Halloween decoration. Kids were amazed by the unique design. That one's so cool. Yeah, right there. Until the woman stopped at a gas station. Buck noticed the man in the car actually moved. Buck quickly caught up and forced the woman to stop. She impatiently asked what was going on. Buck took the opportunity to check her pupils. The man oh. nearby groaned. Buck immediately called the police. The man was taken to the hospital. It turned out that two days ago, the woman got into an accident and hit the man, also injuring her own head. The bruising affected her vision, making her unable to see the man. Trampoline, out of the blue. 911, what's your emergency? 911 rolls up. Captain Cool discovers the lady's hand and waist, doing a tango with the trampoline springs. She's frozen, not daring to twitch a muscle. The guy asks can she wiggle those fingers. Turns out, she's got finger freedom. Trampoline missed the nerve memo. Even the spring on her backside didn't pull a ninja move on her spine. Lucky break. Next up, the firefighters whip out a chainsaw. They chop the whole darn door off, lady included, and whisk her away to the hospital. At the hospital, the son hands her the phone and spills the beans. She's been accidentally live streaming this trampoline circus. Instant 1 million followers. The lady's pumped, telling her son, we're hitting the jackpot. 